What's going on, everybody? Trebles in here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ridge. Today, we got some breaking booze. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is dropping the 12 year age statement. We've all been dreading the day that this is was going to happen, but it has been announced. It's happening. The next batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, the B523, is not 12 year age stated. So we're over here on the computer. Let's go over. There's an article written on it. There's a Heaven Hill press release. We're gonna dive into the article, into the press release. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions, add some, you know, things that I'm feeling about it, and we'll go from there. So I'm over here on pastemagazine.com. Jim wrote this awesome article over here. It seemingly came out of nowhere because the photo of the next batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof came out and immediately people saw that it was not 12. So oh, let's get right into it. Let's start off with here is a, you know, an excerpt of the press release that Heaven Hill put out. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof will now be barreled in small batches with varying age statements. So it's no longer Elijah Craig Barrel Proof single barrel. They're all small batches. Each batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof will have its own unique taste profile and proof as in years past and now a unique age statement that will retain the uh, extra aged characteristic the brand is known for. All other qualities of the series remain the same. Non-chill filtered and uncut to preserve all natural et esters and taste components from barrels to the bottle. The variance in proof and now age from batch to batch is an exercise for true whiskey aficionado to experience the consistency and quality across the series while allowing for the unique intricacies of each batch to pull forward. Now that is very well written marketing lingo to try and tone people down because they're going to freak out. You change something like that, people are going to freak out. Even if it's good or bad, it doesn't matter. People are going to freak out. The 12 year age data is gone. Now, this brings us to like, why are they doing that? What is going to be the consensus for it? I don't know. I don't know why they're doing it um, other than just to change things up. People are saying, oh, well, they're running out of older stuff, but I really don't think that's the case as as we get further into the article. It definitely seems like this is going to be a move into just showcasing a wide range of ages that they can do. You know, kind of like the uh, the old fits, they're putting out eight year, nine year, up to 17, 19 year old stuff. So I'm more so hoping that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof doesn't turn into something like old fits to where you can't get those bottles. So let's scroll down, let's see. Uh, another important thing I think out of the article is you know, he says, I'm mostly just pleased that the change isn't being used as a pretense to bump up the MSRP of the whiskey, which remains at roughly $70. So nothing's going to change in that uh, realm, at least from them. Here's my worry is that if they start putting out older aged dated Elijah Craig barrel proofs, are liquor stores more inclined to start marking that stuff up? Are more people going to try and turn that into a, you know, a hype bottle to where now we're not even gonna see it. Oh, there's a 15 Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. You're not gonna see it. People are gonna lose their minds. It's gonna be marked up. You won't get it for $70. That's my worry. That's my worry about it. All right, here's some stats on the bottle and then we're gonna go over. I'll show you a photo of the bottle to confirm this is exactly what's happening. Um, the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B523 uh, weigh in with an age statement of 11 years, five months, which by law reflects the youngest barrel of spirit in the blend. That's a good point too. This isn't an 11 year, five month batch. Okay, this is small batch. Therefore, you have to put the lowest age of barrels on the bottle. So there could be 
you know, 12, 13, 14, they could, they could put anything in there, but it can't be under 11 years, five months. That's what the age statement means is it's not younger than this. So there's no telling what else is in there. This is just showing us this bottle, the, the youngest stuff's 11 years, five months. So you might not really even notice a difference at all. And I'm pretty sure you won't. I don't think we're gonna drink this and be like, oh my God, this tastes so young compared to previous Elijah Craig Barrel Proof batches. I don't think that's gonna be the case at all. Now, here's something very important that it has me the most worried. You know, the 11 years thing, that doesn't have me worried. What worries me is down here, future batches will be free to fluctuate in various directions in terms of age, with Evan Hill hinting that the C923 batch could bear an age statement of more than 13 years. That has me worried in terms of the hype that will be behind that. I don't want this to be pushed into, you know, allocation land. I mean, it's already kind of that way. It's some people never see this batch. I'm still in the area of I get these batches when they drop. And something like this, I, I fear people are going to see a big old 13 on the front of the bottle and be like, oh my God, this is, this is crazy. Now, this is either A, what they're trying to do or B, they just have a lot of age stuff and they are, are capitalizing on the fact they have the power to put out all of this age dated stuff. Why don't we? Why don't we throw a big old 13 on there and, and get people riled up and hyped up for it? Because we can, we have it. Uh, I just really hope it doesn't go, you know, the way of old fits and you know, you can't, it doesn't matter which release of that comes out. It could be the eight, it could be the 19. It's still just impossible to find for a lot of people. It gets crazy marked up. So I, I really hope it doesn't go that way. Um, but over here, this is all confirmed. Over on ElijahCraig.com, they have a picture. And I guess maybe this is where it all stemmed from is like this photo dropped. And then Heaven Hill's like, all right, press release time. You know, quality control, baby. We got to damage control. We got to make sure people don't freak out. Here's a sticker. B523, 11 year, five months, age dated, 124 proof. You know, how do I feel about it? I don't know. I don't think we're going to notice a difference, hopefully, in the flavor of this. Especially, you know, I have, this is an eight-year-old Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Uh, store big I'm drinking, it's freaking good. I got a 10 year old one, it's freaking good. The 11 year, five month one, that's the lowest. There could be, you know, I don't know how many bottles go into their small batch or how many barrels go in their small batch. It could be 10. So five of those could be 12. Five of them could be 11, five months. So it could, We. I, I hope we don't notice a difference. I don't think we'll notice a difference. Only time will tell. This is supposed to start dropping soon. So whenever it does, when I get a bottle, I will be sure to film a video of it. Um, but that's it. That's all there is to it. They're dropping the age statement. Leave a comment down below what you think of it. What do you think the, you know, trajectory of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is going to be going forward? Do you think, you know, the younger barrels are going to damage it? Do you think the higher barrels are going to create more hype? Leave a comment. Let us know down below. Um, let's just raise a glass to... 12 year age dated Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It was a it was a good run. Let's hope that it remains good. All right. Cheers guys. I'm Trevor Wilson. See ya in the next Booze News video.